heard you boys needed some help. We came as fast as we could. There ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. You magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, the natives are getting restless. Thanks for the rescue. But I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. You might be a damn pirate, Rainer, but whatever happens, you saved my boys today. And I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. How are you holding up, General? Damn poison. I told those pansy-ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. I understand. I know that ain't easy for you. Easy? <laughs> Son, I'm getting off easy compared to what you got ahead of you. To reach the main hive, you'll have to choose between taking out their ground reinforcements or their air support. There ain't time for both. Don't worry, General. I'll deal with the Zerg. First chance you get, head back to the ship and get patched up. That's an order. Lock and load, Jimmy boy. These plastic critters just keep coming. What we got here is the biggest turkey shoot in the galaxy. Hate to spoil all your fun, Tychus. But we gotta start pushing toward the primary hive cluster Prano. That's a tall order, old buddy. Between them nightest worms on the ground and that swarm of flies overhead. We ain't in no position to push against anything. You're always an inspiration, Tychus. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. We've secured our landing zone thanks to you, Commander. General Warfield believes an attack on the primary hive is suicide under current conditions. A diversionary attack to cripple part of the Zerg defenses will give us the opportunity we need. You know, I've been thinking. It scares me more than the Zerg. We're gonna have to take out those Nidus worms before we can make a move on the main hive. Them Zerg bursting up under us wherever they please, and exactly conducive to our health and well-being. Well, placing charges at the right spots in their Nidus network could flood the whole system with lava. What's your take, General? Well, it's dangerous, but it could work. Bigger problems still their flyers. Even if we could move our units forward, we can't provide adequate air cover while the skies are contested. Any suggestions? Intel shows 80% of the Zerg flyers nest on an infested platform hanging in low orbit. We take that down, we'll own the air. Hell, if this platform's so important, why not just nuke it? 
The nests are burrowed deep into the superstructure. Surface detonations won't do it. We'd need to land a strike force on the platform and take it apart piece by piece. It's your call, Reyna. We can deal with the Nidus worms when they surface, but there ain't no way we can advance without air support. We gotta take that platform down. We came all the way down here just to head back into space. I only wish I could go with you. Give them hell, Rayner. The Zerg Flyers are using this old orbital platform as their base of operations. It's actually made up of several smaller platforms, tethered together in geostationary orbit. The nests are too deep inside to destroy with a bombardment, but clearing the whole thing with ground forces will be costly. Adjutant. What's keeping that thing in orbit? Has it got power? Affirmative. Thermal readings indicate intense heat coming from the platforms. Core temperatures are kept stable by a series of coolant towers, still operational despite the Zerg infestation. Perfect. There's your answer, General. We get on board and destroy the coolant towers in each section. The reactors will go critical and take care of the Zerg for us. Excellent plan. You missed your calling, Rainer. You would have made an outstanding staff officer. I reckon I'm right where I'm meant to be, General. Now let's get saddled up and hit that platform. Kerrigan won't be giving us a second chance. Scanning to get a positive fix on all the towers. Got it. I'll mark the tower coordinates on your map. SCV ready. Damn, Jimmy. This whole place is writhing. Once we blow those coolant towers, it won't matter. The platforms will burn up and kill everything on them. SCV ready. Huh? It's your dime. Not enough minerals. Uh-huh. Go 
ahead. Receiving headquarters. Vespin Geyser required for placement. Vespin Geyser required for placement. Vespin Geyser required for placement. Vespin Geyser required for placement.
receiving headquarters. Transmit orders. Ready to plunder. Made for battle. All right. Certainly. Visual. Mineral field depleted.
Unacceptable landing zone. Mineral field completed. Unacceptable landing zone. Unacceptable landing zone. Ready for dust off. We have you on visual. Inbound. Huh? Ready for dust off. Gotcha. I'm going. Commander, you should stay away from those tunnel entrances. According to the sensors, they're chock full of mutilisks. Upgrade complete. We have you on visual. The reactor is melting down. Move out. Get out of there, sir. Commencing. Ready to roll out! Affirmative, sir. Oh, greetings, Command. Ready to blow! There she goes. Get clear. <laughs> 